the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello. Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, I am going to show you how to defeat the Ice Dungeon as well as its boss, Glam Ice. I'm going to show you two ways. First, I'm going to use my main account, meaning I will be using the, the past armaments, the bloodlines that are strong. So I will be defeating it in less than 3 minutes, 2 minutes 30 seconds to be exact. And after that, I'm going to finish the whole dungeon using my dummy account. No game passes. All the powers that I'm gonna use is still available in the game right now. Okay? Okay, so for this first part, I'm just gonna flex. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use a bloodline, Kurama bloodline, and use lots of skills. The moment that I hit the enemy, the timer will start. There you go. So let's go. So well, guys, were you able to unlock all Glam IC skills? I was able to unlock all of them. So that's it guys for the first set of, <laughs> of mobs. Gamer Nom, do you have half cooldown? Yes. Gamer Nom, can I de still defeat the Glam Ice even though I don't have game passes? Yes, you can still. The next part of this video, I'm gonna show it to you. Guys, we're done with the next set of mobs. This is normal speed, okay? This is normal speed. Alright, guys. I think this is the part where I missed one. So it really took me like 10 seconds to defeat this part. See that, guys? The one that flew away? That's the one that destroyed my time. <laughs> see that, guys? See that? I should have stopped the timer now. <laughs> ah, see that, guys? So, maybe we can, like, decrease the time, right? For 5 to 10 seconds, please. Okay? So, minus 10 seconds on the final time later. Okay. Okay, so we defeated it now. Off to our next set. Okay, okay. So by, oh, by the way, if you have this, the Kurama Bloodline, X skill, Kurama Cloak, this skill is very good for dungeons because it increases your damage as well as your defense. Complete package. Okay, so my technique here is do not lure all of them. Lure one side because sometimes you fall and you can get one hit because there are so many mobs that are trying to attack you. So we're done with that set. Off to the other set. Other half of this area. Okay. okay. We are near the two minute mark. But Gamer Gnome, you haven't started with the Glam Ice yet. Can you defeat it in less than one minute? Guys, I can do it in 20 seconds. <laughs> I'm just being cautious. Okay, in this part, you see that I already used the Olive... Fragrant armament. Okay, so it's already half. And after that, I'm gonna change to the Phoenix Fruit. Okay, so I think we're gonna destroy this now. Two more sets of attacks. Yes, I'm just being cautious. If I really want to attack it, lots of times I've already done it, but I'm recording, so I want this to look perfect. See that, guys? Two sets of attacks. I can even defeat this in like 2 minutes and 20 seconds, right? So now, for the second set or second part of this, this video, I'm going to defeat Glam Ice using my dummy account. Again, you can see 100% damage, which means I defeated it solo. And after that, I'm gonna show you a showcase of all the skills that can be unlocked with the Glam Ice boss. And one more thing, you can use this strategy to defeat it fast and get tickets, right? To unlock the new special, the fruit, and the new champion in the spin, spin wheel, right? Okay, so now I have here my Dame account, so I will be using Marco. Guys, you can still get Marco from the fight pass, right? It's not yet too late. We're also going to use the Phoenix fruit as well as Explosive Nova. As you see that, you just need to push it at the same time. Fruit and Explosive Nova, and you can equip it. So how do you do it? Guys, same as my main account. But the difference is you cannot stay in the air for so long. So after your skill, make sure to smash that jump to get away from your enemy and reset. Okay, so that's it. Next up, the Glam Ice. Okay, so Glam Ice only has three types of attacks. The one, the Slash, the Release Recollection Sword, the Enhanced Bolts. There is that Enhanced Bolt. Okay, there you go. That's the Enhanced Bolt. And that's it. Guys, 
Can you see it? I'm just running around, but I am at the side of the arena. Guys, just avoid the middle, and you can defeat this boss. See that? If you don't get hit by that release recollection bo uh, sword, you can tank other attacks of this boss. So after using all your skills, just heal because you're using the Phoenix Fruit, right? See that? I'm dodging the release recollection sword, and when I've healed up, when I'm done with the cooldowns of my skill, I'm going to jump at him. See that? That's very easy, right? That's very easy. You just just keep on doing this, and you can defeat the Glam Eyes boss. Okay? It's not as fast as my main account because my main account has game passes, has the previous bloodlines and armaments, so it's kind of obvious that you can defeat it faster. Okay? Okay. There you go. Yes, I'm gonna fast forward this. Okay? But gamer gnome, you have friends with you. No, guys, I defeated this 1v1 solo. Oh, by the way, I was able to defeat Akaza using only one skill. I'm going to show that to you later. And you can unlock that skill. Don't worry. Akaza, right? The boss in Dimension 5. The Mugen Train. Easy, guys. Easy. Okay, so we're almost done with this. I just want to use our... What's the name of that skill, bro? The final... The final shine. There you go. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Now, showcasing all the skills, this is an armament from the Glam Eyes. You can find it in your uh, inventory, okay? Here we go. Just use your armament. Press Z. So you can slash him, right? It's, it has a slash, same as the boss. And it also has the enhanced bolts. Enhanced bolt, wait for it. Oops. There you go. And it also has the release recollection sword. Guys, you need to time it, okay? There you go. Boom. That's it. So guys, uh, just for uh, aesthetics and just for uh, unlocking it, yeah, it's cool, guys. But for damage, etc., it's not good. But the defense, I think it increases your defense a lot because I've been tanking Kurama's attacks. But I'm not sure about that, okay? Okay, so again, next video is about Akaza. So guys, were you able to unlock all the skills? Now I'm kind of sure you can unlock it. So there you go. I hope that you enjoyed it. See you on my next video later. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. GamerNom out.